This video demonstrates the Straumann Velodrill system for guided surgery. The Straumann guided surgery workflow is divided into three steps. Data acquisition, planning and surgery. Data acquisition starts with a CBCT imaging. During CBCT, ensure that the jaws are separated. Intraoral information is converted into an STL file by using an intraoral scanner or by scanning the Mastercast. Planning. The STL file and the DICOM file are merged into the co-diagnostic software, which allows digital implant planning and design of the surgical template. Flexible sleeve height above bone level can be chosen between 2, 4 and 6 millimetres. The Straumann Velodrill system has special self-locking T-sleeves that are used with the self-locking drill handle. Drill handle colour coding matches with the drill colour coding system. Each colour corresponds to a different diameter. The cylinder height at the three dot side corresponds to a height offset of three millimeters and at the one dot side corresponds to a height offset of one millimeter. The drill handles are locked into the T-sleeve by pushing vertically until a click is heard. Gently pull out vertically to remove the handle. Guided drill lengths are indicated by dashes on the shaft and on the surgical protocol printout. The combination of drill handles and drill length provides depth control during guided surgery. Let's take as an example a 12mm implant planned in an H4 sleeve height. In this case, the protocol indicates using the plus 3mm handle side and the long drill with three dashes to achieve the planned 12mm implant depth. For the surgical procedure, let's take as an example a BLX diameter of 3.75mm with an implant length of 12mm in a hard bone situation, planned in an H4 sleeve height. The modular cassette shows the different final drill protocol according to bone class. Numbers in brackets indicate the drill used to widen the coronal part of the implant bed. Mount the template in the mouth and check for fit and retention. For edentulous cases, use lateral fixation to stabilize the guide. For flapless surgery, use mucosa punch to remove soft tissue. Flatten the bone ridge with a milling cutter. Use the 2.2mm Pilot Velo Drill to full depth with the corresponding drill handles. Always use intermittent drilling technique coupled with ample irrigation. According to the BLX protocol in hard bone, proceed with the 3.5mm Velo Drill to full depth. Use the 3.7 mm velo drill for coronal widening, drilling the top 4 to 6 mm of the implant bed. Place the implant with the guided implant driver 
and stop when the implant depth reaches the H4 line. Align the orientation dots to the template markings. Vertically pull out the implant driver to detach.